Okay, so let's talk about the next concept. The next concept is called physical freeing, the idea of accurate inventory all the time. The reason that this is so important is a lot of our customers, before they had the O2 Mobile, would do a complete physical count at the end of a month. So effectively what they had is one day during the month their inventory was correct. After that they had bad processes. So the further away you got from that physical count, the worse their inventory got up until they had to do another physical count. Okay, this is expensive and it's very inefficient. And it's, so, and it's not only inefficient in having bad inventory, it's inefficient for your purchasing process if you have MRP and for your planning processes. Okay, so the idea of physical free is that your inventory is accurate throughout the month, throughout the year, and at the end of the year, you don't have to do a physical count. This concept alone can justify most people investing in a warehouse automation solution. Okay, so what we're going to talk about first is one of our one of our clients, BG Project Products. I was actually at the Sage User Conference last week, and I was presenting the O2 Mobile. Um, one of my clients, Cindy Spear, was actually in this in this webinar in this in the seminar, and I was talking about physical free, and she raised her hand and she said, "Hey, you know what? We actually uh, we went physical free with the O2 Mobile this year, and it saved us so much money because we they're they're a very very large operation." Um, they didn't have to shut down production. They didn't have to pay overtime. They didn't have to pay the people meals to come in, you know, after hours to count. And they didn't have to manage the supplier delivery. She said this this was such a huge deal for us. And now they actually have a a, a, a financial audit. So their CPAs had to sign off that um, yes, they don't need a physical physical audit, um, physical count of inventory. Um, I think what they did is actually some some spot checks. So this concept of of Going physical free is huge. So let's talk about a couple of ways we do this. Now first, there's really, there's really three levels of, of um, physical counts within O2 Mobile. The first is what we explained in the beginning. And this is one of the most effective ways to do cycle counts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scan a bin, and it's going to tell me what's inside that bin. Okay. What I can do is I can say, I can say okay, there's, there's so much of this product and so much of this product. I can take a look at what's physically there. I can compare it to what Mass 500 says, and I can move stuff out of this bin into a reconciliation bin. Okay, so we know that bin A11 is, is fine. What we see a lot of times is there's, you see, there's, there's times when it, there's downtime in the warehouse. So if you ask people to grab a gun, go count an aisle, and um, one of our clients actually divided the warehouse into five different zones, and every day they'd count one zone. So Monday they count one, Tuesday they count a different one. And they, they had a, a CPA who was, who'd been in the business for about 50 years, and he said he had never, ever seen inventory as accurate as theirs, just by doing these type, little cycle counts. What we're going to see as well, the, the, second, the second flavor and this is actually a relatively new module for the O2 Mobile, is um, the O2 Statistical Calculator. or it's a, it's a cycle count module, but it uses the O2 Statistical Calculator. Let me just talk about that for just a minute. The O2 Statistical Calculator basically says it looks at your inventory as a, as a confidence. Okay? So a confidence is that the day we count something, our confidence is very high that the, 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 quant the, the number we have in Mass 500 is the right number. Um, as we get further away from that count, the, and the more transactions we have, the less confident we become about that specific item. So, um, many times people ask us, say, hey, why don't you give us a cycle count and just give us 10 random numbers? Well, 10 random numbers is fine, except, except that maybe you have high confidence in all those 10 items. So what you're doing is you're not, you're not making your t an efficient use of your time. So basically with Mass 500, the, the physical count or the cycle count module, you can say, um, give me the top X ranks by rank. And by rank really means confidence. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm saying, give me, give, give, give me 10 items that have a low confidence level within our warehouse. Okay. When we define confidence, we can say by volume of transactions, we can say I have confidence by dollar value, etc. And so based on these rules, where do my top 10 create a quick cycle count, have the guys go out into, into the warehouse, count these 10 items, and report back the differences. Okay, so what we're doing is we're picking 10 items 
that have a high probability of being bad within your warehouse. So think of this, if you count 100 items randomly, maybe only 10 of those items are really your problem, problem items. What we're saying here is using the O2 statistical calculator that you're counting the 10 items that matter, the 10 items that are probably going to be the problem for you. Okay, And then with, within uh, the O2 mobile, once you have this, this count set up, it does a quick freeze, you go out, you count, and then you come back and you report the differences. Okay, So that's the second method. The first method is just basically bin, um, bin scans. We scan a bin, check it out, move inventory to a different place. The second method is we do a cycle count using the statistical calculator. The third method is we do follow the mass 500 physical count. So as you're ramping up to get to, to where you're physical free, um, it's no sweat. You can still do the mass 500 physical count with the count cards and all those types of things. So that is the third type. Okay, so in this webinar we've talked about three main concepts. One is live, live data being presented in the, the scanner, live data being pushed back into mass 500. Lean, the concept of um, cutting out all the unnecessary steps in order to, for your warehouse people to do their tasks. And third is physical free, having your inventory correct at all times. So, as we said earlier, Mass 500 works with, I'm sorry, the O2 Mobile Warehouse works with the Mass 500 distribution modules, the sales order and purchase order and inventory. We also work with the Mass 500 discrete manufacturing system and my personal favorite, the O2 process manufacturing. A lot of times people think that this is only used for O2 process, which is not true. It works with any of the distribution or manufacturing modules within Mass 500.